hello friends welcome to tech quiz video channel in this video we will go to css basics and see use of different signs like uh, plus tilde greater than and space in css selectors this is blog post about these symbols we will do practically uh, and uh, see their differences uh, you can get the link of this blog post in the description of this video before we get started let's consider this example so here you can see one div id's container which has three paragraph element and one nested div which has also paragraph element so this is outline diagram where you can see container id and uh, these p elements and all let's copy this code from the blog post and uh, use js pedal paste it so we got all the first second third and child paragraph let's start with the space symbol so space symbol is basically a descendant selector which selects all the child elements regardless of how deep they are in hierarchy so here uh, let's use the space symbol so we are using div has con container we are selecting p and we can see background color equal to say gray so we have used space symbol and when we run you can see all p elements background color is gray so this is a descendant selector and we use the space symbol as we have seen all p elements are selected so here uh, right sign in front of uh, all p elements for the descendant selector the next is greater than sign which is basically child selector so let's replace space with the uh, greater than sign it will select the direct child element of the parent so container div will have a 3p sign if we run this one you can see the nested p element will not be considered because it's not direct child of this container div so all the p elements which are direct child of the container div will be selected so this is a child selector which is represented by the greater than sign here is the representation uh, all direct p elements are selected and nested p will not be selected The next is the adjacent sibling selector it is represented by the plus sign and in this selector the second selector must come immediately after the first so here uh, okay so we have one uh, child div and uh, other p elements so what uh, we will do jump to the css tab remove this container and use the plus sign okay now it will select the p element which just comes after the div tag so here we can see this second it sh should be selected so let's run it and you can see this one so this is adjacent sibling selector as we have seen uh, like the second is uh, selected and all other p are not selected now let's add one more div to test uh, this one let's see what will happen if i add one more div just before the third and see what will happen you can see third is also selected so which is expected behavior okay uh, let's undo it 
Now the next symbol is tilde sign. It represents the general sibling selector and it will select all elements that is preceded by the former selected. So in the CSS, if I use the tilde sign with the P, then it will select all the P which comes after the div as sibling. So if I run this one, here you can see second and third both are selected. If you notice that the first will not come because uh, it is uh, already defined and this div comes. So it will select all the siblings that comes just after uh, this div tail. Now let's uh, do one more thing. Uh, what will happen if we put any other tag between say test and run you can see there is no impact or uh, the third will be selected so here you can see like all the siblings that comes after the former selector are selected so in this video we have gone through the different symbols used in the css selector like space greater than tilde and plus sign here is the block flow post which explains all these things which we had done in the video. Thank you for watching this video.